So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Football with Priscilla. I am Priscilla. Um, so I have a very interesting video lined up for you guys today. But before we get into the video, make sure you share, like and subscribe and turn your notifications on to know when I post a video. Okay, with that said, let's get into the video for today. Um, so <clears throat> I'm drinking ginger and honey to clear up my throat. It's not the best combination, but anyway, it's doing justice to my throat. Okay, so, um, like you read the title, we're going to be talking about some of the transfers that have occurred so far. Um, the ones that have occurred so far that have actually shocked me that I was not expecting to happen, at least in this transfer window, um, is the Coutinho to Aston Villa and the Kieran Trippier to Newcastle. Newcastle has started making moves. Yeah, we saw that coming. Um, so let's talk about Coutinho back into the Premier League. So <clears throat> I think it's a win for Aston Villa. That's if Coutinho goes back as the Coutinho that we know. Okay, so if you haven't watched um, Coutinho, if you never watched the Coutinho that played for Liverpool, um, he was a joy to watch. His assists, his goals, his vision, he was just a delight to watch. So Coutinho is actually a very good player. And um, Aston Villa have been lacking a playmaker for a long time because they had Grealish, that was, you know, their playmaker and would draw attention from all the other players so it was easier for them to play but now when Grealish left he left a hole in that team and there was no one to really like you know make the perfect um passes or the through balls you know and the assists so they were missing on that aspect but now that they've introduced Coutinho to the team I think it will be um it will be very helpful to the Aston Villa team um, for someone like Coutinho to help them in terms of giving them assists as well as um, a technical player, so to say. Yeah, Coutinho is a very technical player. It's just sad that it did not work out well for him at Barcelona because he's actually very good. I was very surprised. I mean, I expected Coutinho to go to Barcelona and just like light up the La Liga, but I think, well, as we saw, um, things didn't go well. For Felipe in the La, in La Liga, so well things happen. Um, but he'll be a very good addition to Aston Villa, um, and I hope he works hard and he shows all of us the Coutinho that I know he can be because he's a very good technical player and he's going to help out on that midfield. He's going to help out the strikers a lot. So Aston Villa is already a good team, but including Coutinho, they'll be an even better team. Um, so the other person that I want to talk about is Trippier coming to Newcastle. Now, Newcastle is already making moves, okay? So don't be surprised if they want to buy Mbappe. Hmm, that's a joke, but anyway, you never know. Still not gotten used to this taste. But anyway, yeah. So, um, Newcastle... They need more than Trippier. They need a whole new team. And I understand them buying a player like Trippier because um, they're trying to revamp Newcastle. They're trying to help Newcastle not get relegated. But it's going to take more than just Trippier to keep Newcastle afloat in the Premier League. Um, they just need a whole... They need a change. They need a different midfield. They need a different striking force. They need a different um, defense. This is a team that has Jonjo Shelby as their midfielder, as one of their best midfielders. Yeah, Newcastle need a lot of work. I mean, their striking force isn't that good. Their defense isn't that good. Um, they, they just need everything new, you know. And knowing the ones that have bought them, we're going to see interesting players at Newcastle. But let's talk about Manchester United. Um, that's my heart, so I would never make a video. Well, I would, but 
it's not going to be a complete video without me talking about Manchester United. So, Manchester United um, are having problems. But I don't think our coach is one of those problems. Ralph Ragnick, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Ralph Ragnick, Ragnick, I don't know, Ragnarok. <laughs> anyway, Ralph Ragnick is definitely not Manchester's problem. These rumors that are circulating from the other players saying the coach is the problem, no, the coach is not the problem. I've been saying this for the longest period of time. Manchester United players don't run. They lack intensity, they lack um, they lack the mentality, um, their attitude is off. So for Manchester United players to come out um, and say Ralph Rennick is a problem is just an utter lie and I think um, it should not be tolerated by people because we've had three coaches so far. Well, let's see. Moyes, uh, Van Gaal, Mourinho, Oli, Ralph. So we've had five different coaches and in all these five different coaches, we've had some players that have been a constant. So if all these five different coaches failed to get the best out of the players that have actually been there from the Moyes era and are still here in the Ralph era, then well, that should show us that the problem is not really the coaching staff, it is actually the players. Maybe they're not as good as they think they are, but hear me out. I don't believe when it comes, I don't believe this notion of they're not good enough. Well, yeah, they're good enough, but I don't believe in it because we have seen players that are not good beat Manchester United. So it's not really about how not good enough the players are. It's about how the players are not playing like a team. You attack as a team and you defend as a team and Manchester United has not been doing any of that. They are individualistic and not, no one wants to... Um, run no one wants to defend as a team no one wants to play like a team everyone wants to do their individual things and outshine the other and be the hero so manchester united's uh, problems are not the coaches as we have seen it is the players so i'm hoping we also get into the transfers for manchester united um i had a rumor about nevers ruben nevers i have been a ruben nevers fan for a long time when i've been watching him at wolves he really um intrigues me with the way he plays on the midfield he's able to make the long balls he's able to control the midfield so yeah i really hope we can get a number six during this january transfer if we don't get a number six, we're stuck with McTominay and Fred. It will be quite interesting to see through until the end of the season. So with that said, we've come to the end of the video. I know it's a short one, but yeah, we're just talking about the transfers and the latest on the Manchester United news. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I can't wait to hear and read your opinions. Bye.